Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. In this two-part look on how mosquitoes are captured and tested for the West Nile virus, we trekked into the woods and swamps to set traps near their breeding grounds. Now that we have hundreds of mosquitoes rounded up, it's time to take the day's catch into the lab for processing. We're at our laboratory in Yapank, and this is where we'll uh, separate the mosquitoes and get them ready for testing. So these are the, uh, the traps that went out last night. They came from different areas in Suffolk County. We're processing the traps, we're picking out the uh, female mosquitoes. We're gonna identify them to species. We're going to then look at what we have in each trap pick what we want to test and we send it up to the New York State Arbovirus Lab for testing. These viruses are grown in culture, so it creates a, um, a laboratory hazard. So you need special uh, uh, level of lab to, to do the testing. We don't have that level of lab here, safety level, so we send it up to Albany for the uh, testing. Are you separating male, female, and breed? Yes. The females we sort out overall because um, females bite, males don't. Females need the, the blood and the proteins to, to have their eggs and such, so it's the females that do all the work. Yeah. So this is bycatch. You also get moths because these traps have a light, so all types of other insects are attracted to them as well. Little beetles. You also get little um, nymphs or things like that that look like mosquitoes, so you have to learn to pick them out as well. So it's easier just to get rid of the bycatch as early as possible so it doesn't like, clutter your view. So this just gives you a good background reference because certain mosquitoes have faint uh, bands or specks on their legs. This one has little dots on its legs, little white dots. And then it has a pointed abdomen. This would be a vexin, so you would just sort him out. The West Nile virus can't survive within a dead mosquito, so it's essential to keep the insects alive in a dormant state for processing. And every now and then, while the mosquitoes are being counted, they reanimate. Luckily, they like wake up slowly. Their legs start, it's like they like stretch and they come back. And then you can see it, so you gotta put them back in the fridge for like another 30 seconds to a minute. And they, it beats them back down for like another five minutes. And then you uh, just start over. You can't see with the eye if they have it or not, so it needs to you know, go into further testing. Can you tell where a trap came from without even looking at the label? Sometimes. Sometimes there's certain locations that have like a lot of one mosquito, so you can definitely know that you're doing that trap, but sometimes it's hard to tell which one you're doing unless you know by the label, so. I'm a biologist here in the lab. During the season, I do a lot of the same things that the interns here do. I also help out with a lot of the data analysis. During the off-season, I do some field work. Right now I'm doing a lot of traps on the South Fork. So all the way to Montauk, to Shelter Islands, and back. We will test for another disease called Triple E. Eastern equine encephalitis. Melanora mosquitoes carry that virus. They're the vector. And so we not only just test for West Nile, but we also will test for uh, Triple E virus as well. So much goes on behind the scenes to help protect the public from the West Nile virus. You can reduce the mosquito population around your home by eliminating stagnant water where mosquitoes breed. Dispose of tin cans, plastic buckets, or similar water holding containers. Remove all discarded tires. Make sure roof gutters drain properly. Turn over plastic wading pools and wheelbarrows. Change the water in bird baths. Clean and chlorinate swimming pools and hot tubs. And remove rainwater from pool covers. We also ask the residents of Suffolk County to call us if they have a dead or dying bird on their property at 787-2200. The person that answers the phone call will ask you some questions to see if it's an actual bird species that we want to test for West Nile virus. For information concerning West Nile virus activity, call your county health department hotlines. 